We are just about nine miles from downtown Manhattan as EA Sports brings you to MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. A few minutes ago, the hometown Jets were introduced to this sellout crowd, and it's a roar that could be heard across the river in Manhattan. They're set to go as their Jets will match up with the Chicago Bears. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Now a carry for the former Michigan State man, Le'Veon Bell. And he stopped immediately there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. On second down, it's Bell. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. A gain of 13. It's a first down. And there we see an early burst that makes him one of the leading rushers in the league. Well, I want you to know, I listened to you yesterday when we were watching film. You said write down the word vision for him. It was on display there, wasn't it? It certainly was because he allows the blocks to set up in front of him. And if that continues, it could be a long afternoon for those guys trying to play some defense. A right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers playing with their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can pressure and he's taken down. A bear sack. That sack by Khalil Mack. And we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked off by Buster Screen. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. Certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first quarter. Too many ones in this play. First quarter, first drive, first interception thrown. And that last one, that hurts. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at the 39-yard line. The former Gamecock here, this is Mike Davis. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. What's the old expression, three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. From the 41, Trubisky. He's got Burton here. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Davis, he'll try to run for it. And he's got the first down yardage there as he takes it just across midfield. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. First down, Chicago. Trubisky hits his target. It's Taylor Gabriel. 20. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. The big gainer there on the catch and run, 37 yards. And the Bears first down. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. 
Here's the first carry for Tariq Cohen. They showed off the athletic juke. Good little gain there. Not a whole lot of real estate, but a nice carry. Pretty effective run there, and now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your old line to set the tone of dominance and physicality, and pound the rock. On second and a yard. Trubisky escaping. And he's got his man. That's Robinson. Touchdown, Bears. From four yards out. And the Bears have taken the early lead. So he scrambled right, but was able to look back toward the middle of the end zone to find the target. As you know, in this game, sometimes you just have to know when to break the rules because we all know most guys throwing the football are taught never throw back into the middle of the field on a scramble. He did it and got away with it for a touchdown. Instinct sometimes, right? They just take over. Instinct and vision. Sometimes you just see people who are open, you're able to get it to them. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he will be taken down here as the first quarter of play will come to an end. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter now from MetLife Stadium. The Jets with the football here as they've got it with a first and ten. And New York set to take the field. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7 0 to score as they start first and 10. And the drive starts with a completion left side. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. Boy, the evolution of the game and how these guys on plays like that can get out of the pocket, keep plays alive. It just makes things so much harder for defenses. It really does. And we're talking about an era in the game where the quarterbacks are the most athletically gifted that we've seen in a bunch. I mean, when you talk about collectively, it's unbelievable. So their ability to move is practice now. It's not necessarily, oh, he just took off and you guys figure it out. When he takes off, everyone knows where to go now. They know how to run routes, change things, make themselves presentable for the quarterback. It's a lot of time that they put in on it. It's not just your static one, two, three. This is where the ball goes anymore. That'll set them back with a loss of three on the play. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. Out of the shotgun, here's Darnold. And this is going to be incomplete. Had to pass there, third and long on your own side of the field. Just couldn't come up with anything. That's why teams always talk about having to win the early downs, meaning you've got to gain yardage and set yourself up for third and short because when it's third and long, the odds go down significantly trying to pick up the first down, even throwing the football. So fourth and 15, but the offense is staying out there to go for it. They're going to go. It's Darnold. And this is incomplete. A surprising move to go for it. Predictably, at least somewhat predictably, it doesn't pay off. And that will force a turnover on downs. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. They have to be thrilled with that first drive that got him the touchdown. Now they'll be looking to make it a two-score advantage here on the road. And you know they spent all week in practice, in meetings, talking about taking an early advantage. Being the road team, going up a score, that takes the crowd out of the game and puts some doubt in the minds of their opponents. 18 yards on that one, and Chicago has the first. A first down carry for Davis. And a pickup of about four down inside the 10 to the 8-yard line. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. They'll toss to Davis. And there is nowhere for him to cut back as he's taken down in the backfield. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman. He's in Orlando, and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report. On third down, a run with Cohen. 
And the stop will come inside the five at the four. They'll get six there on the run, but it brings up fourth down. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And the lead moves to 10 zip. Well, maybe a little bit of an anxious moment there as that ball got closer and closer, but it does curl in. Yeah, actually did a little bit of a slow dance there with the left upright, didn't it? But had just enough space, as you said, for it to curl in. Let's field it a few yards into the end zone. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. And New York set to take the field. And a first half that really has not been kind to them. A late opportunity here to maybe make some inroads on this deficit before half. And this drive's going to go a long way for his Thomas, where they actually have a chance to come all the way back in this game or not. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. This is Bell. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Another example right there how this defense really is winning the entire game at the point of attack. Yeah, right there the line of scrimmage because they are dominating. It allows their interior guys to get upfield. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Danny Trevathan. And they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. You're trailing. You're trying to get points late in half. I absolutely understand that. But remember, it's all about the ball. And without the ball... You can't get those points. They just turned it over. Now you got to be careful because that deficit can get a little bigger on the other side with that good field position they just took over with. Now it's Trubisky. And the Jets pressure too much as down he goes. Ja'Kai Polite credit him with a sack, and it goes as a loss of six. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Now Trubisky to throw. This one out left to the tight end, Burton. That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. The Jets will bring in a nickel set here as they try to stop this third down. Hey, we got to get this stop here, Dean. Now it's Trubisky. The screen pass here to Cohen. Nice move at the 40. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. The screen good for six, but it's not enough as it leads to a fourth down. Feeling like they're not quite in field goal range yet. They're going to go for it on fourth. They'll try and throw for it with Trubisky. And that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. The Bears tried it on fourth down, unable to convert. And the Jets are going to get the football back. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10. They'll start the drive with a carry by Bell. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts. 
as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Out of the shotgun, it's Bell. A good run as he works his way for nine that time, and it'll leave him with a third and just a few inches. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. A final shot before the break. Darnold airing one out for Crowder. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Eddie Jackson picks it. Time has now run out on this first half of action. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Set to resume. Here we go with the second half. The Bears holding the lead and ready to receive the kick. It's a short kick taken at the 15. And they'll be set up pretty nicely here as they have it up to the 35-yard line. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at their 35-yard line. Second half starts with a run by Davis. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. The loss of three on that first down pass play, now second and 13. Here's a give to Davis. Call it a gain of six on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. The Bears on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and eight. Out of the gun, Trubisky. Oh, now Trubisky lost the football. A plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. 33 yards is the distance on the punt there. And the Jets will take over first and 10. Darnold going to lead the Jets up now, first and 10 at their own 18. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with the football? Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. Darnold completes it. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. Big stop, D. Big stop. Let's go. Darnold on first down. 
Ramirez got it, complete. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Well, this is how you shake the thoughts of that interception on the last drive. You come out and start this one four for four. And watching him throw it around with that. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Kyle Fuller. And he'll take this back all the way up past the 45-yard line. He was looking for a noon one there. You hear me laughing, partner, and I'm not laughing at the situation. But sometimes you just get yourself into a rut. It's hard to shake yourself out of it. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10. After the interception, here's Trubisky. Completion left side to Miller. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. The completion good for three, and it's second down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Back now here on EA Sports. It's Bears football here. They also have the lead as well as we begin quarter number four. The Bears on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and four. From the shotgun is Trubisky. He's got his tight end, Burton. Oh, no, he lost the football. And it's scooped up by the Jets. Pass the 20. And he takes it to the house. It's a fumble recovery for a Jet touchdown. This defense, Charles, they needed some type of a spark to help get them back in this game. I think they just got their spark. No doubt about it. You know, that's all they discussed. How can we get ourselves moving again? How can we get our team going? This definitely qualifies. Extra point good by Catanzaro. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at their own 24. They begin with a run by Davis. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might actually pop one of these runs. But the bottom line is he takes care of the ball well for them so they keep handing it to him. Now this one complete on the slant route. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. A gain of 13, it's a first down. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Now a handoff to Davis. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Give him 32 on the play. That's a real nice job right there, working the middle of the field, working against those safeties. And you know, partner, if you get your hips turned the wrong way, big plays can result. And a big play resulted right there. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10, just outside the 30. Now Trubisky. And this is caught. A spectacular one-handed grab there. And they'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. 
What a catch and one-handed, and I'm starting to lose my awe about the play, and maybe I shouldn't. How much of this is the player? How much of it is the glove? And those gloves, they do have... And this is caught, and that could seal it. It's a touchdown. Well, it'd be real easy to say that they are firmly in control right now, but I'm looking at your face and I'm thinking I've got to be careful with that. Well, it's a two-score game. You're inside of two minutes. I think you can breathe relatively easily now. Yeah, you can, but still, you got to stay vigilant. Can't give up anything cheap and easy. That could put you in some jeopardy. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. Crowder's got it over the middle. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 15 yards is the pickup there in the drive starting very nicely. First down. Here's Darnold. On the catch, it's Crowder. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Slant route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger time. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Kyle Fuller. All smiles and high fives on that defensive sideline. That interception will cap off what was truly a tremendous performance. Yeah, if you can hold a team to seven points in the NFL, that's the kind of day that you feel really good about. Now, I do know a few guys are going to think to themselves,